Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another one. Today I'm going to be reviewing a boat cover that I just got through Amazon yesterday. And um, yeah, we're going to be talking about it. We're going to be unboxing it and we're even going to put it on the boat and we're going to see if this boat cover is worth the money or if you should pass on it. So stick around. It's going to be a war from round one to round 12. In his last fight, he had a bum make him look like a bum. So what do you think I'm going to do to you? That's why they had to save you. That's why yeah. PBT had to save you and stop the fight. So this fight, they have to. We're going to knock you out. You know, I'm just trying to be nice. All right, so let's get to it. I purchased the cover on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Received it yesterday, Friday. And now we will be unboxing it today. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the uh, quality, the material, the cost, the uh, length and all that stuff. You know, and, and uh, you know, see what you get in this box. So this is how it's shipped, box. <clears throat> Just whatever, it's a box from Amazon. And uh, I went ahead and went with the uh, brand Budge 1200 um, denier, which is supposed to be like a uh, thicker, thicker material or stronger material from the, your regular cheap 600 denier, which is usually what I get. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys why. And usually I wouldn't even do a review on the boat cover, but since there is really none on YouTube for this brand, I decided, you know what? Why not throw one on there? There's really nothing on there. When you look, when you go on YouTube and you search uh, budge boat covers, there's really nothing on there. So I thought, hey, why not make a boat cover? So this thing is pretty heavy right off the bat. Um, uh, GoPro battery. Put that in my pocket. So that's the brand Budge boat cover. It's got the uh, item number made in China, 100% polyester. Comes in a big bag. Hopefully the struts are in this bag. So I do get struts. I get one, two, three, four, five, six. Six straps. There are your straps. You got a bag, which I could use this for like my water hose. Definitely not gonna be using it for this. <clears throat> but right off the bat, you guys, material, it's a lot thicker than what I usually get. This time around, I went ahead and went with the, uh, the more expensive, um, the more expensive model because usually there so there's a 600 model there's a 1200 model usually i go with the 600 model usually because my boat covers don't tend to last because we have some really big winds out here in uh in fontana so if you live around those areas you know what i'm talking about when it comes to big winds and usually boat covers for me last about one to two seasons <clears throat> so this time um, I went ahead and went with the thicker brand and uh, yeah, we're gonna try it on. So the model that I went with, again, this is the uh, 1200 denier cover and this is for a uh, hard top boat and the size of this one is a 22 to 24. My boat is a 2302. I already measured it, it's 24 feet. I don't care about it covering the motor because I have my motor covered already. And uh, the shipping through Amazon, I got this pretty quick. Got it in two days. I paid 360 for this. Um, as far as quality, quality, like I said, <clears throat> right off the bat, it is thicker than the 600 denier. I like that it's got this elastic helm with the bungees in here. It's gonna give you that snug fit. I seen this in the pictures where the uh, belt buckles have this cover this way the buckles don't scratch up um, your boat which is a, a good good huge plus for me so it looks of good quality I will be happy with the material stitching wise I mean it's gonna be basic it's gonna be a uh, generic it's not gonna be like double stitching or anything like that it's gonna be single stitching but if it's strong and it holds up just like the other boat cover then it's all good um, this is supposed to be a uh, waterproof 
Um, does it have vents? I don't know. I won't know until I put it on, but it does say that it has vents. All right, so it does come with this extra piece right here. Let's see if it's like a sticky. Okay, so it, it will stick on. So in case you get like a rip on this, um, this is gonna come in handy. Stick this on and maybe sew around it if you uh, know how to sew. Or if not, just use um, uh, heavy duty duct tape. And uh, I do also have a support. Let me show you guys what I have. I didn't purchase this. This came with the boat. So it goes, um, it goes from bow to the back, to the front, which um, shoot. I'm sure you guys have seen this. This is for uh, you guys who get rain and snow. This will go to the rear, I'll stand up, stand up something like that. And then this pole adjusts, I think it goes, it stretches out. I don't know, I haven't used it. Reason I haven't used it is because we don't get much rain out here in California. This is what he was using for a little bit of time. Um, like I said, I haven't used it. We got maybe a couple sprinkles since I've had the boat, but I will be using this in the future. And one of these goes to the bow, and then the other side straps to the rear of the boat. So it creates like a, a canopy. Um, it's gonna be really handy when the winds come in. But like I said, I'm not too worried about the rain. It's more the, uh, the wind that we get out here in, uh, in this area. All right, so let's go try on this boat cover. Enough talking. All right, so I'm here where I keep my boat at the uh, storage facility. And uh, I like this place. They have a uh, 24 hour access, they have cameras, they have a uh, key fobs, but this is it. This is where I keep my boat, it's a 22 foot, uh, I'm sorry, 22, 24 foot walk around. But here it is. I'm gonna show you guys the original cover it came with, which is a really good cover. I'm happy with this cover. It's got a few rips here and there. It's doing the job, but you know, it's seen its days. And uh, yeah, these winds are, uh, kicking its ass so let's go out there and I'll show you guys a little closer that's the front the sides right here and it goes down far enough for me like I'm happy with this boat cover and I'm gonna show you guys the, uh, the tape I don't like how the uh, I don't like how it's open right here because uh, dust tends to go in there with these winds. And it's only when it's high winds. Cover I have for the outboard. It's big. This cover I bought through uh, Amazon. It's also a really good cover, but it's just big. But I'd rather it be too big than too small, right? And it's been, uh, it's been holding up pretty good. So that's what the uh, side of the other side of the boat looks like. Let me show you guys up here where it's ripped. So right here, there's a uh, live well, a bait tank right here. And I put a cardboard box and uh, I did put tape because it sliced from here to the other side. Uh, and we had some really big winds about a month ago. So that's when that happened. And at that time, I thought I would have had the uh, proper boat cover. So that slice didn't really matter to me back then because I was already, I already had another boat cover in route that I had purchased and uh, ended up being the wrong size, so. So all the uh, boat covers I, the other two boat covers, it wouldn't cover this, it wouldn't cover the rails. The boat covers would go right around to this area right here or barely right here. And with the winds that we get up here, there's just no way it was gonna cut it. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna start looking at a, uh, boat covers for uh, hard tops with hard tops so that's what i did so let's remove this one and uh try on the other one and uh, see if third time's a charm Where's the front and where's the back? 
nice nice so it's looking like this boat cover is going to be a winner it fits uh, I'm gonna put the straps on so that way I can get a, a snug fit out of this thing and uh, see if I need to uh, do any modifications but it's not looking like I'm gonna have to do anything weird anything special other than the uh, the two um, the two little buckles the clamps that I have up front close that little area right there but um this is for a hard top. This is for a hard top. So I guess some of you guys that have these uh, cutty boats, walk around boat, should I say, with the rails, this is what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to get a uh, boat cover with a hard top. So um, yeah, I'll show you guys the uh, final result shortly. Just covered the boat and uh, I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts after installing this cover Let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like from the top all right so you guys this is what it looks like from up top um, the fitment on this thing was uh, I love it I love it because it covers a whole lot more than what the other boat cover was was uh, covering and Right here up front, it covers everything as well, which is uh, what the other boat covers that I got in the first place uh, lagged. So for those of you with these uh, type of boats, um, I would get something that's made for a hard top, pay the extra money, and uh, your boat's gonna get a whole lot of more coverage. Um, let's get down, show you guys the uh, fitment, and uh, tell you guys what I think of the overall give you guys my opinions so let's go through the whole boat and I'll tell you guys what I think of these straps and these buckles so this is what the back of the boat looks like as you can see there's two ventilation holes right there um, back here you guys this thing can go over my cover my uh my motor if i wanted to and it can go just like so problem with that is you're left with this big hole right here that's going to uh get debris and dirt blown in there so that's my issue with this in the future i plan to remove this this way this area can have better coverage over here same thing so that's why I said I don't care about this thing covering my uh, outboard but this is an option if you want to what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a buckle here and a buckle strap on this side this way I can have the uh, boat cover pulled down just a bit You're gonna get pretty much almost full coverage on it all right so the pros the cons thick material it's thicker than this this is uh thin compared to this not by a whole lot but you can feel it right away quality wise um i would say this one's got better quality that's why you're gonna pay a little bit more for the uh thicker stuff so my old one, 600 denier, um, 1200 denier. Yeah, you can feel the difference. Um, they say you can tow these boats um, with these covers on. 
I wouldn't do that. I, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, maybe if you get a really snug fitment and you're not going that fast, but if you're gonna be on the highway traveling at 50 and over, nah, I wouldn't recommend it. For me, I never intended to do that. It, for me, it's just a uh, boat cover for when it sits, it's covered um, from these uh, weather conditions that we have out here in Cali, which is just winds, rain, we don't get too much rain, but um, I have the, uh, the proper equipment for uh, rainy days. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be uh, driving up and down the highway with a cover like this. As far as uh, paying 400 bucks for it, I would pull the trigger, it's worth it. Um, this should last me, you see the winds? It's not even supposed to be windy today. This is just a breezer, this is just light winds. When it gets really windy, it gets windy. Some of these boat covers right here are probably ripped. I mean, you can hear it. So that one's ripped right over there, as you can see that cover rip right there here are the cons all right so the straps um usually most boat covers come with two you have one here you have one there that way you can just use one strap and go around here that way you don't have to go to the other side because if uh you saw earlier i had to throw a strap from one side to the other and that was just this one and the one in the back the one right here in the middle all i did is went from this buckle to this buckle and I ran it through the uh, fender of the trailer so that will work but I think what I'm gonna do in the future when I have the time is probably um, sew another buckle here this way I can go from here loop it around the trailer and come back up because I mean who wants to uh, be throwing straps from one side to the other same thing over here um, I ran this one from the bottom um, all right, so there you go. You guys can see a picture that this strap is running from one side to the other side. I do like these uh, these uh, covers on these buckles. This way um, it prevents damaging and scratching your holes. So that's what I will do is I'll probably sew on another strap up here up top. That way I can run from here to here or somewhere here. You know, I don't want to be going from one side of the boat to the other side of the boat. Um, over here, like I said, if you want to go around your outboard, you can. Um, this is a good size. I'm happy with the, uh, I'm finally happy that this boat cover fits. I got a winner. In the future, probably when I take the uh, boat home to work on it, I will put a buckle somewhere around here, sew it. And sewing a buckle is not much work. It's easy. Put one here and just run the strap from there underneath the outboard or even in the back of the outboard. I don't know, I'll figure something out. But uh, again, um, I would pull the trigger on this cover. The 600 series for this model is um, only like 80 bucks or $100 cheaper. So instead of going with a 600 series, just pull the trigger, uh, spend the extra 80 bucks, extra 100 bucks, and go with the 1200 because uh, you are going to be happier with the uh, quality. If you touch the, the fabric on this and this, you'll see the difference. Thinner, thicker. Um, but yeah, you guys, that's my review on this boat cover. Um, again, this is from Budge, 1200 and the uh, description of the exact model will be down in the description. All right, so that's pretty much gonna wrap it up, you guys. Hope this helps you guys out on making that decision on whether or not you should pull the trigger on this cover. Um, so anyways, pull the trigger, you guys. If you guys like the video, hit the like. And if you don't like the video, hit the thumbs down twice. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in the future, man. Um, I'll be out in the next uh, three weeks. I wanna do a walk around on my uh, boat pretty soon because uh, I've done a lot of upgrades to this thing. I got one more upgrade that I wanna throw on there in about a week. Um, and then do the walk around with uh, all the equipment on. But there's many upgrades that I'm gonna be doing on this boat. So uh, yeah, you guys, thanks for uh, tuning in and uh, see you on the next one.